In this video, we're going to discuss the history and reports that the Tracky app has to offer. The first thing you need to do is log into your account, select the tracker that you would like to see the history on or reports on. On the left hand side, you will see the quick bar menu, the green bar, and you need to go to the history tab. Once on the history tab, you'll see that we do have a few options, which is map view, up to seven days detailed report, alert history report, and history log report. Also, you can select the time frame of what you want to view the history on. We also have options to see GPS only, Wi-Fi only, or GPS and Wi-Fi. Notice we do not have GSM because it is not accurate enough to make it worthwhile to record the history. Let's go ahead and go to map view here and show you an example of how this looks first. I'll select that and then go down here to the last, let's say 12 hours. Also, we recommend that you always select GPS and Wi-Fi. That way you get the most data possible when looking at your history. I'm gonna go ahead and click view history here. It will bring everything up on a map and you will see plot points generated on it. You do have to zoom in to get closer to see these plot points. I'm going to zoom in here to a specific plot point and select that one. So let's just say this one right here. Once you select the plot point, it will bring up information on that specific point, including the date, time, speed, address, longitude, and latitude. Also give you an indication of the battery life it had left. Now I wanted to discuss these green dots. As you can see, they do have numbers on them, but as I zoom in, you'll notice they go away. What that is, it's called plot grouping. Plot grouping is just letting you know that there is multiple plot points very close together. And if you zoom in on them, as you can see here, you can get specifics on each one. Now you also notice here that you see that the red dots indicate a stop and gives you a time frame of when it was stopped and started. If you see yellow dots, that's an indication of speeding. And of course, white dots are indication of it just being in motion. That's pretty much it for the map view. Let's go to the seven days detailed history report. What this is, is it gives you the last seven days and a summary of what the tracker was doing, including battery life, speed, also notifications and alerts. So I'm gonna select seven days here and view the report. Once you see the report, it should look like something like this. It gives you the estimated distance, maximum speed, duration, good data that you might need to use uh, when looking at something like this. You can also look at specific reports rather than just a summary if you wanted to get more in depth. Speed report on a nice graph over the days and how fast it was going. Also a notification report if you had any geofences crossed, speed alerts, or any SOS buttons was pressed. A battery level report showing the battery life and how fast it was draining. Also the history log reports showing the stop and start moving and how fast it was going as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look here. When you actually click on the view as map or view on map, it's the same thing as the map view report. The next one is alert history report. This will show you any alerts that might have happened within the time frame specified. So again, if you did have any uh, geofence or SOS buttons pressed, those will be indicated here uh, on top of the actual timestamps of where the tracker was at.
Also, you want to make sure that there is a button on the top right that says clear all. Uh, we want to make sure to shy away from this button. If you accidentally click it, you'll notice a pop-up comes up that says, are you sure you want to clear all these notifications? The reason is, is it deletes all of the data. That also means on the map, you will no longer be able to see the plot points. So make sure unless you really want to delete it, not to select clear all. The next one, the last one is the history log report. Again, this shows you all the stop and start moving as well as the speed and is basically the map view in a listing format. As you can see here, it gives all the plot points as well as how fast it was moving and the timestamp indicated of when it happened. You can also view this on the map. Again, it is the same thing as the map view. You will be able to see all the plot points viewed here. Another thing I would like to show you is when you're in map view, you can actually select your map type on the top right. Whether you just want a plain white map or satellite or a darker mode or hybrid mode showing the street addresses as well as the satellite view. Again, it is your preference on how you would like to actually view the history. The last thing is if you zoom in close here and click on a plot point, once you have one selected on the top right, you'll see something that says street view. If you select this, this will bring you to the Google map app. If you have it installed and show you the 3d view of the actual road or area that you have selected. That concludes our tutorial on history and reports. If you have any other questions, please contact us at 323-785-2020 or email us at support at tracky.com.